In this video, we're going to start changing the value of our variables by incrementing or increasing the number of guesses every time the computer makes a guess and the user tells us it's wrong because our guess is too high or too low. We want this number of guesses to increment every time they do that. And to do that, we need to change our variable or the value inside of our variable. First thing I'm going to do is just clean up a little bit to give us some space to work with um, our, our, oops, uh, to work with our variable, the global variable number of guesses. Now I could put code, write some code for when too high is clicked, and it would be the exact same code to put in when too low is clicked. That code would be um, to increment the value by one and then update the number of guesses, which is um, in this uh, label right, uh, or in this label right here, guess label. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a procedure so that it does it just once and then I'll call that procedure from the button. It saves me some code and, and it definitely prevents problems later on. It's considered best style to do things that way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the value of the number of guesses to the current number of guesses plus one. So I'm going to get that current value using a getter. The current value of the number of guesses and then I'm going to add one to it. Now, After I do that, I also want to change the value of that guess. And the value of that guess is, is um, right here, and that's under num guesses. So I'm going to go to num guesses. I'm going to change that value. So or what, I, the, I want that to reflect the actual value of the number of guesses. Here's num guesses num guesses text. I'm going to set num guesses, num, num guesses text to the value of the variable number of guesses. Now I'm going to name this procedure update and every time updates called it will increment or increase the number of guesses and then display that text. And I want that called whenever they, the user clicks on too high, I want that called. And whenever the, the user clicks on, oops, whenever the user clicks on too low, I want that code called. After you write this code, feel free to check it on the phone. Make sure it actually works as you expect. Good luck.